In this video, we're going to learn how to import NumPy array files into ClickHouse. So this is a feature that was added a couple of months ago in version 23.10, and we're going to learn how to use it with help from the Layon dataset. So Layon is a multi-model dataset of text and image embeddings, as well as metadata provided in Parquet format. So what we can see here is we've got an image, NumPy file, the metadata Parquet file sitting in the middle, and then the text embedding file at the bottom. And we're going to import all three of those into ClickHouse. So let's launch ourselves a ClickHouse local instance on my machine. And we're going to start by having a look at the image embedding file. So we'll have a look at how many records we've got. So you can see it comes back with the answers. We've got just over 900,000. We can then have a look at the contents of that file using the describe clause. And you can see it's just got one column. So it's called array and it's got, it's an array of float 32 uh, values. Let's have a look at the actual contents of the file. So again, we'll look at the file. We're going to just get the length of the array and then we'll get a slice of 50 values from the array. And we'll just get the first row and we'll render it in vertical format so it's a bit easier to see. And you can see it comes back. So it's arrays of 768 elements and then you can see a slice of some of those elements. Let's have a look at how to ingest that into ClickHouse. We're going to create a table called images. We'll use the merge tree engine. There's not really any order, so our sorting key is just going to be tuple, so it's not really anything. And then we'll load it from that file. So we'll give it a, a few seconds. It takes about 15, 16 seconds to load. So we'll speed this up uh, with the power of video. And there we go. It's now loaded uh, into ClickHouse. And then we can have a look at the first 10 records and get, say, the first uh, five entries for each. And so you can see it there, it comes back. Those are the embeddings themselves. So that's the image embeddings. But so far, we haven't looked at the text embeddings or the metadata. Uh, and so it's important to highlight uh, an interesting thing about this data set, which is that corresponding rows across our three files represent the same item. And what that means is that we can join the files together row by row using the paste join, which was added in ClickHouse 23.12. So let's have a look at how to use that. So we're going to write a, a new query. So we're going to say from, we'll select from the image embedding file. Then we can call this paste join, and then we'll select from the text embedding file. And then we'll do the paste join again, and we'll select from the metadata file. And then we're going to, we'll just select some values from there. So we're going to get the first 50 elements from one of the image embeddings, the first 50 elements from the text embeddings, and we'll get all the metadata fields. And we'll format the results in, in vertical format. Now, one thing to keep in mind when using the paste join with files is that you'll want to set the max threads to one, because uh, otherwise it might end up mixing up uh, different sets of rows from different files, which is not what we want. So if we run that query, it'll come back. We can see at the, the bottom, we've got the metadata. So we can see all different types of metadata about the image and text embeddings. And if we scroll up a little bit, we can see at the top, we've got the image embeddings, and then we've got the corresponding text embed embeddings just underneath. We're now going to edit our query. So we're going to delete the format the limit, and then the selected fields. And we'll just change that to select all. And then we're going to go up to the top, and we're going to add in a create table for the embeddings table. Again, we'll use the merge tree. And again, we don't really care about the order. And if we run that query, it's going to create us a table that has the image embeddings, the corresponding text embeddings, and then also the corresponding metadata. This will take a little bit longer, so we'll give it, we're going to speed it up again. And you can see it takes just over 30 seconds to generate this. And then if we describe the embeddings table that we've created, we can see it comes back. We've got the image array, we've got the text array, and then we've got all those metadata fields as well. And let's conclude with a query on the embeddings table. We'll just use the replace clause so that we don't get the, the massive 768 length arrays. So we're just going to get 10 values from there. And we'll just pick a random, random row from there. And you can see it comes back. We've got the metadata. So this is for pearl glass beads. And we've got the image and text array at the top. And now that we've got these arrays loaded, we need to process them using array functions. And to learn how to do that, you'll want to watch this video next. 